Now, in the previous video, we talked about a little bit about variables and how we can use them. These are the buckets. We can keep values in them and we can change, replace them and everything everywhere. The variable has been used. Everything will be changed. So they are kind of like styles, but they are not very rigid. OK, so uh, in, in today's video, we are going to have something else we are going to create. Let's try to see if it moves up or not. OK, so. Here we have it. Let's try to create a variable that is a number. And I'm going to use size zero. Uh, it will be the value will be zero. Let's create another number size one. It will be eight. And let's use another number size two. It would be 16. Uh, so this is just a double of that So size three. Uh, let's make it 32 just uh, the same sizing or size matrix we use or ladder size ladder we use let's use 56 for the size 4 and let's use just one size last size I don't want you to get bored okay so here we have the five sizes let's use uh, select all them all of them by pressing shift holding shift new group with selection and I'm going to say sizes I'm not sure why it, uh, it this should be outside so let's call them spacing okay so here we have different levels of spacing and let me share with you how we can use them uh, these in your design so we already have different spaces so uh, I'm going to create a rectangle over here um let's see over here and uh, in the height you can see over here in the height and width i can use the variables like you can see over here here is the small dot so if i want the spacing of like 32 pixels between these so you can see now it has been shifted to 32 so i am going to create a component and call it space bar okay so uh, if i need more spacing over here i can you know uh, easily combine it with this one in uh, in an auto layout shift a and now you can see it has been it, it is rigid over here it is at the top over here and if i try to change the value let's try to change apply variable like uh, size 64 you can see it jumped down so this is really really nice so you what you can do over here is uh, you can just use a zero for the pass through and it will be transparent so here we have space bar and you can see the size is 64 i can change the spacing uh, whatever i like maybe 56 or maybe i need like less spacing 32 32 seems good so this is how you are going to use spacing system using your local variables. So what I just did, I just created some of uh, some like uh, five or six or seven numbers. And I actually created a group out of those numbers. I'm, I'm naming them spacing. And this these are going to help you a lot. Uh, you can also do something like uh, maybe something for roundness. OK, so uh no round uh okay so roundness let's call it corner zero uh let's call it corner zero let's call it uh, corner one four pixels let's call it corner to eight pixels okay so let's select all these create a new group i am going to move this group outside and we are going to name it corner radius and now you can see this is actually creating a whole system you can use everywhere okay so let's try to select these and here we have mixed corners so let's try something that has that doesn't has mixed corners okay so here we have five pixels okay so rather than using five over here for the corner radius i'm going to select over here 
and you can see I have different sections corner radius spacing so let's try this one okay so this is how you are going to use variables in building your local design system uh, you can also create styles uh, and uh, local styles but right now I'm talking about variables this is really really handy you can see we have already have different sections spacing base colors color schemes I have defined those uh, told about these in my previous lessons so this is how you can use a number variable to use spacing corner radius anything that is going to be uh, has a number value uh, so that is all this is my lesson about variables local variables and specifically numbers i hope you you have learned something new let's move on to the next lesson take care and bye bye